Now, we do also have somebody to talk with us who was an eyewitness to the actual crash. He was watching from Arlington, Virginia, which is a suburb over his name, is Tim Timmerman. Mr. Timmerman, are you with us right now? I sure am. You're a pilot. Tell us what you saw. Well, I was looking out the window. I live on the 16th floor overlooking the Pentagon and the, the corner apartment, so I have quite a panorama. And being next to National Airport, I hear jets all the time, but this jet engine I heard was way too loud. I looked out to the south, to the southwest, and it came right down 395, right over Columbia Pike. And as it went by the Sheriff Hotel, the pilot added power to the engines. I heard it spool up a little more. And then I lost it behind a building, and then it came out, and I saw it hit right in front of it. It didn't crash, it didn't appear to crash into the building. Most of the energy was dissipated and hitting the ground. But I saw the nose break up, I saw the wings fly forward, and then the conflagration took, you know, just engulfed everything in flames. It was horrible. What can you, what can you tell us about the plane itself? It was a Boeing uh, 757, American Airlines, no question. Uh, you say that there was a Boeing, and you say it was a 757 or 767. Seven, it's seven, hard. 757. 757, yeah. which American of course Airlines. is one of American Airlines, one yes, of the um, new generation of jets, and of right. course, it, it, uh, that, it was not. It was so close to me, I could. It was like looking out my window and looking at the helicopter. It was just right there. We were told that it was. Uh, we were told that it was flying so low that it clipped off a couple of light poles on its way in. That might have happened behind the apartments that occluded my view, and uh, when it reappeared, it was right before impact. And like I said, I saw the airplane disintegrate and then just blow up into a huge ball of flames. So there was a there was a fireball that you saw. Absolutely, and the building shook, and it was, you know, quite a, quite a tremendous explosion. What did you see after that? Nothing but the flames. And I, I sat here and I took a few pictures out my window, and uh, I noticed the fire trucks and the response was just wonderful. Fire trucks were there quickly. Um, I saw the the area. The building didn't look very damaged initially, um, but I do see now looking out my window. There's there's quite a chunk in it. But uh, I think the blessing here might have been that the airplane hit before it hit the building, hit the ground, and a lot of energy might have gone that way. That's what it appeared like. Well, there, there is, of course, uh, we've heard some discussion about the fact that it could have been worse had it actually gone a little bit higher and gone into what's called uh, the ring, the center the of the ring. Pentagon, exactly. which is a, exactly. a, this is a five-sided building. Right. As uh, you know, the, the rings are A, B, C, D, E. It has just caught the E ring on the outside, and that's why I felt it didn't look as damaged as it could be. It looked like on the helipad, which is on that side. Right. Uh, did you see any uh, any people being removed, any injured being removed, that type of thing? No, sir. I'm um, up at a, about a quarter of a mile, maybe a little bit closer, and um, at that point I saw nothing like that. Tim Timmerman, thank you very much.